what's up, it's Tony here. Uh, this week I'm going to talk a little bit about the Wami Bar or the Tremolo or the Floor Rose or whatever you want to call it. I'm going to show you a few tricks that I do with it and as always at the end of the video I'm going to show you a few leaks uh, with this uh, new uh, technique involved with it. So yeah, hope you like it. Alright, so the first thing that you have to know about this lesson uh, is that you're going to need a guitar with a full Latin bridge like that one, like a Floor Rose or similar to that one. If you have a guitar like, let's say, a Fender Strat or stuff like that and the bridge can go, you know, up and down, then, uh, you know, it's, it's got a word for this lesson, but it's much better, one of these, at least for this kind of tricks, it's much better Floyd Rose style of, of bridge. So, first thing I did on the beginning of the video was uh, kind of harmonic. Uh, I do a lot, or at least I did a lot back in the days when I was some kind of a rock star or something like that. But anyway, it's like, I take the third string here, now I go down with the bar like... And I'm not, I'm not doing, you know, sometimes a lot of my students, the problem with this thing is that they, they are hitting the fret like... And you don't have to hit the fret, that first, first thing I have to say, don't hit the fret, it's not like... Just... It's like just hitting the open string. And now you go down with the bar, and now what you have to do is put the finger, the second or the third, that's the one I use, uh, on a harmonic, and for that you have to know the theory about harmonics. And the theory says that you have a arpeggio here, that is like, you have the root on the fifth fret, minor third on the fourth, then you have a fifth around the third fret, you have the minor seven on the third fret, you have the root again, pretty much where the point is here on the third fret on the root. And then if you, I mean, this one is difficult, but you can get the nine, it's pretty much on the second fret. There it is. Okay, that one is very difficult. And if you have low action, it's going to be even more difficult because the low action helps you for, uh, you know, making fast runs and peaking and it's more kind of a technical setup for the guitar, but if you want to do some harmonic tricks with that, the low action is not going to help you, but anyway. So, what you have to do is go down with the bar, and now when the when the bar is down, is where you put the finger, like, uh, really slow, it's... Now, what you can do here is you can go faster, like... Or even faster if you don't wanna if you don't wanna hurt the the string going now like you don't want that you can make like and put the finger just uh, pretty fast. That's what you have to do. So uh, good exercise to practice this is just go for every note you have here like the root third fifth. So let's go for it. You have the root. You have the third. Fifth. Uh, minor 7 and the root again and now as I said, uh, I don't think I'm gonna get it, but you have the 9 let's try it ok, I was lucky <laughs> but anyway, that one is very difficult, but you can try and that's the thing with harmonics, now the thing is that a lot of people are getting a lot of background noise to say it that way, or some way uh, and that's because when you are hitting straight down you have nothing here, I mean, and that's what you, did, what you get. It's like a lot of background, because you have distortion on the end and everything. So what you need here, or what I do, I put my thumb, my right hand thumb here, on the first, I mean, on the fourth, fifth, and sixth string. So I'm muting this one, and my left hand is muting all the rest of the string, so... Only the third is, is ringing, to say it that way. So when I'm making a harmonic... I can say it's pretty clean, and it's because of that, okay? Because I'm muting very much everything. Now, a lot of people, uh, when when, do, when you do a, a harmonic like that, it's just something like... You know, and it's a mess. You don't want that. You want to be as clean as possible. So, advice for you, take a look to uh, Matthias uh, Eklund, I think is the name. I don't know how to pronounce it, but anyway, Matthias. And he's also making harmonics, he's the, I think he's the best one in the world making this kind of stuff. Okay, so the second thing I'm going to show you here is um, 
two things actually, or two uh, whammy tricks that Steve Vai does a lot. And not only Steve Vai, but you know, uh, he's uh, using the bar a lot these days, so anyway. First one is called, uh, I think it's called a gargle or something like that. I'm not sure about this in English, but anyway, it's just uh, making the note. And now you put the bar like that and you hit it. So it's like. Okay? So it's not very difficult, but if you don't have a, like a floor rose, you're not gonna get this kind of sound because you need the flighting bridge for that. There's the first one, and it's very easy, so you don't need more info about it. Just hit the, the woman bar like that, and you're gonna get this kind of. A, if you make it with you no know, um, with the guitar uh, not plugging, you get this. You can hear the floating bridge moving. Okay, so that's the first thing, and the second one is making like a scale and going up and down with the bridge a little bit where you're moving between the notes. Like, let's say I'm gonna play uh, G major for instance, okay, so I'm making like... So the thing here is that you play the note... When you play the next one... Um, just one second after playing it, just go down a little bit with the bar and you get this kind of uh, emotional thing like... You want to play it more vibe style, you, you, can, you have to hit the, the bar um, like harder, like... So you play the note and then you play the bar like... Okay, that's pretty much it. Okay, so the last thing I'm going to show you is the Jet Bag style of one bar uh, tricks or melodies or whatever you want to call it. And the trick is, uh, I play a lot of natural harmonics and I go, I move the one bar to get to the exact note I want. Because, uh, let's say I'm going to play G and A for instance, I'm going to play something like G and A. Okay, I know if you know the harmonics or the theory about that, you have a G here, and you have an A here. But as you can hear, there's a lot of difference, you cannot make a melody like that, you need the note to be closer. So what I do is I pull out the one bar, right? And the difficult thing here, or the difficult part, is to get in tune. Because, you know, it's difficult to go to the note that you don't have a thread to, to pick, so it's like... Cool thing, just try, uh, trust your ears, that's, uh, the, I mean, after a few days of practicing and everything, you get uh, closer to the, okay, I'm gonna pull just a whole step or a half step with the wabi bar up and down, and you get used to that, to your wabi bar. If you change the guitar, um, then it gets like, maybe, I don't know, maybe an hour or so to get used again, but it's not that difficult. So to practice this, what you have to do is play a normal line, uh, with no harmonics, like the line I played in the beginning of the video was something like, uh, I think it was something like that. Yeah, something like that, pretty much. So what I do is I, I try to find out where the harmonics are. Like, the first part of the league is really easy because it goes like this. And now I want this note. So what I do is I pull out my one bar. So difficult part here again, get in tune. And if you wanna have some vibrato, it's even more difficult because you have to uh, make the vibrato with the, you know, getting the tremolo on the notes. So it's it's not easy, but but again, few days of practicing and you get it. So what you can do after that is just try to uh, change the ending of the lead or wherever. Like let's say I'm gonna play. For instance, so the beginning is the same, so... But now I want this note. So, I know here you have a G. And it's a half, it's a half step down, so... There it is, so you have... Uh, so that's the thing, just practice that 
and you're gonna get it. So now I'm gonna play a few leagues for you um, with this Jeff Beck style and some Vice style and some more stuff. And yeah, hope you enjoy this listen. And let's do the leagues. <laughs> Okay, so here's the first league. As you can hear, it's pretty much in the Steve Vai style. So, um, it's not difficult, but again, you have to play a lot with the white bar to get musical because you don't want to get crazy and get out of tune all the time. So, what I did here, uh, slow down, it's an E with harmonic. Okay, so I just put my finger there. And now the line goes like this. Is So the line is not difficult, but I play the one bar a little bit when I arrive to the next note or to a new note. So it's like... Now, as you can hear, the last note, I do this lower to, to make it even more interesting to say that one. So... Okay, so the second league is based around the Jeff Baker style again, but this time it's based on a technique that he used a lot, uh, trying to uh, emulate a slide guitar. So what I do here is pretty much I do I start with A, and now I play a triad here, but I do like that. What you have to do is just play the note, but before playing the note, just go down with the with the bar a little bit like that, so you get this. It's like making a like making a bending from, from here, but okay, so okay, you can play it uh, more rocky style, like or just m more soft, like. And now I play this one, and I go chromatic down. So together, some of the songs like this. Okay, so this last week is based around A again. Uh, a blues, to say like that. What I do first, I play a, a line like the first league of Bi. Okay, so it's. And now I play again with her money, so I have the root, at the major third, here I have four. And what I do is let ring the third, so. I have this kind of uh, annoying sound that I like because the major third and the four is uh, so close to note and you have just a half step between one and the other that you get this kind of uh, disgusting sound like Matthias Elkund who does, does a lot like for instance you play a note with a harmonic and then a normal one like here I'm playing a G and I'm playing half step down Something like that. But anyway, in this league, I'm playing just the third and the fourth okay, so... Okay, you can play that. But I like more uh, with the harmonic, so... And then I play the minor seven here. That's the league, so slow down together, it sounds like this. I hope you like this little lesson about uh, Wami Treats and the Wami Bar, the Tremor Lines and everything. 
and help you create your own with, uh, with your tremolo and stuff like that. You get more melodic with it instead of going crazy up and down. And uh, yeah, hope to see you next week and rock and